Hi guys. Today we will discuss what is BB and how it does work. Now BB is Bullinger band. And how it works is what we will discuss in this chapter. The first thing, this red line. This red line number is here. This upper band number is here. And this low number is lower band. Now, how does this red line acts? it acts as its as per its direction as you can see its direction is up here so it means that price is going up once it goes straight it means price is going straight once it starts to move up it represents that the price can move up but it's not in a steep like upward movement it does go up and then go straight so it represents it goes up and goes straight and once it again goes up it represents a longer term trend see it goes down price falls go straight price goes straight and this is how this line works one thing is its direction where it is directing if it goes straight it is directionless second thing the upper bollinger band now as you can see once the price goes up or the upper bullinger band moves up in both the cases the direction is up see it's going up 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 the same way once it moves down it represents directionless trading why because for the price to fall we need the lower band to fall not the upper band so the upper band contraction acts as a directionless time period so you see you have like two different indicators one is this red line which acts if it is going up or down and one is bollinger band as you can see first the bollinger band contracts then the moving average this red line acts going straight see once first it contracted then it went straight so this upper band acts as a first mover advantage then we have this lower bullinger band once it contracted and the price went lower it broke the bullinger band then bullinger band also went down this represents a downward movement see the price went down 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 and it started to contract once the price is going down our focus will be on the lower bullinger band not on the upper bullinger band because once the lower contracts lower bullinger band contracts then we know that the price will move straight and it did went straight then went straight 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 it did broke up went up went down so the lower band acts as our indicator to know if the price is going down or not and once the price breaks it and it turns down as you can see right here it represents a downward movement once it contract it represents a straight movement so contraction in the bullinger band means straight movement now another aspect to remember result season as you can see i've plotted this d this represents result season and dividend uh, the result day the announcement of dividend day now as you can see on the day once it announced uh, the dividend within a few days or like upward movement that our bullinger band was telling us stopped right here it stopped on the day right here it not only stopped it moved down so you have got three different results which caused massive changes in the direction and this course is about options trading strategy so the strategy that we are discussing in this course is about direct or non direction so in a non direction you get to keep a month you get to get a monthly income 
a monthly income comes into your pocket each and every month so the result season will always cause disruption to that income so if you are trading and the result comes in between then get out even if you believe the price is going up because we have different strategies in this course directionless and direction based so even if you are following the direction based strategy and the result comes in then it can change the direction so don't risk it on the day of the result get out don't risk it and make your money secure thank you